Great Britain have earned a historic first win at the World Baseball Classic after beating Colombia on Monday. Absolutely huge, this. GB are making their tournament debut at the fifth edition of the WBC and lost to defending champions USA and Canada over the weekend in Phoenix, Arizona. But they regrouped to come from behind at Chase Field to clinch what would be a significant 7-5 win over Colombia. Finishing fourth out of the five teams in Pool C would clinch automatic qualification for the next WBC in 2026. It really is a historic day for baseball in Great Britain and may well, because it was a brilliant game, may get people interested in taking up baseball who never thought to before. So the question is, what team could you possibly join if you want to play? And also, what team, if you don't want to play, if you just want to go and watch a game, who could you go and watch? Well, how about in Hertfordshire and the Hertfordshire Falcons? They're one of our local sides and their season is going to be getting underway not all that far away. They're a team that you could watch. So joining us right now is Chris Hitche, who is the Hearts Falcons manager. Chris, how are you? Very good. How about yourself, Chris? Yes, I'm very well, thank you, my friend. Doing very, very well. What a result that was then for, for Great Britain. How big is that for, for for the baseball community over here? Oh, it is massive. It, it's just uh, it's very exciting. It's our first time in, in such an event. And to get a victory is just uh, puts a lot of uh, hopes on what we can achieve in this tournament. But also the legacy and the inspiration for a lot of uh, British kids and even adults like myself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, how big is the, the baseball community over here? Because obviously I know a lot of people would say, you know, American football is, you know, NFL is, is big over here, as is basketball, which has grown as well. What about the baseball community? How big is that? Oh, it is quite big and growing. Of course, there's nothing as big as, of course, football and, and probably uh, the sports you mentioned. But similar to uh, what the NFL has achieved with coming here uh, and having a, a solid fan base, it's the same with uh, MLB coming here uh, a few years ago and coming back this year. Uh, and it's absolutely growing uh, in general with American sports. And we think that this, event will even grow it even in bigger yeah absolutely and and getting to see those games of the teams coming across from the states but obviously we have our own sides over here you're back at the falcons again how how bad how big is that for you how good is it to be back well it, it is strange that i'm basically coming back home after a, a small stint away from the club uh, but it feels uh, like I, I'm back home and seeing uh, good old friends and there. And it's an exciting um, time to, to again, um, be part of the Falcons and compete in the top league in this country. Yeah, you, you guys are going to be obviously challenging in the NBL. I mean, it's going to be pretty, it's going to be, you know, pretty challenging, but exciting at the same time, right? Oh, it will be. I mean, it, it, it's always uh, a challenge because there is good competition every year round. But I think we have a very good, solid uh, base pl uh, players that are both young and energetic. And I think we are going to have a great season this year and hopefully uh, battle for a playoff. Well, fingers crossed, hopefully that is the case and we'll be, be following you guys very, very closely once the season does start. But I know that preparations are sort of, you know, well underway at the moment. And isn't the Heart Spring League that's coming up soon? Yeah, it is. This is an opportunity for our teams to get ready for the season. It mirrors what it gets done in, in the big leagues. Um, so that allows us managers to uh, try different lineups, trying different players in different positions and an opportunity for some of the youngsters to try out and try to make the final spot on the uh, roster. So it's a good opportunity to, for you to find out a little bit more about your players and, and you know, where potentially you could use them in the season. Absolutely. So in, in, in my the top level is about that, of, of seeing uh, where I can maximize the performance of each player. But at the lower levels, it's also an opportunity for uh, new, uh, new uh, newcomers into the game to try baseball in a non-competitive -comp way, see if they like the sport. So I really encourage anyone that is listening and wants to give it a try to uh, the sport, uh, come to, to our club and, and try the Heart Spring League and see if you like uh, baseball.
Amazing. I love the sound of that. I think that sounds so cool. And we'll give out some 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 like, you know, details in a second of where people can find out more if they if they want to come down and, and try it out. For you personally, what is it about the sport that that you just so love? Oh, it's it's so many things. I could be talking hours about it, but it's it's just the the aspect that you you, you need to perform different things. You have to bat, you have to play uh, play defensively, uh, the, the mental side of the game, uh, because there's a lot of uh, strategy in it, uh, but also, you know, the, the physical aspect. So it's all that combination of different things uh, that, that, that it makes it very attractive to me. It's it's a great spectator sport. I I love watching baseball and I I love getting to watch the, the the big games as well. But it's cool that we've got teams locally to us and one local in in Hertfordshire. And obviously, I'm I'm guessing you're going to be looking for more people as well to to come down and support the team once the once the full season begins.